stampers! Jackie Ball Hayes from Confidence Stampers. Today we're playing with designer series paper. Now some of you may remember, it's been a while, I guess it was last summer, and I've done it for a couple years, I've done a paper swap or paper share, paper exchange, whatever you want to call it, but I did mine a little bit differently where I sent what I call card bases with all the designer series paper. So you got a piece of each designer series paper that was four by six, and then coordinating colors of cardstock to go with each one. Now, I'm gonna do a couple projects for you today that shows you how to easily make a card with just a four by six piece of designer series paper. Now it's cut four by six because sheets come in 12 by 12 and when you cut it, you know, four and four and then cut it in half and six, you've got six pieces out of each sheet and most packs have 12 sheets. So that's an awful lot of cards you can make. So if you got my paper share, this will give you some ways to use these four by six pieces. Otherwise, they're just great ways to make quick and easy cards using designer series paper. I love paper. Let the paper do the work. We're going to just add a greeting and we're going to make some pretty cards. Now for those of you that missed the paper share, I'm going to be doing another one in January with all the brand new papers coming out in the occasions catalog. So the idea I have to share with you, these will work perfect then as well. And I have a very special gift for you. I am doing this as my online class for December. So if you enjoy today's project and you're a customer of mine, place an order between December 1st and 15th and I will send you a tutorial that will show you step-by-step step how to cut designer series paper to make five different layouts, five different designs, quick and easy cards where you're letting the paper do the work. So make sure you check down there in the description of the video. I'll have a link to the blog post and over there it'll give you all the details into how you can get that tutorial for free. Or if you're already a demonstrator or you live in a country other than the United States and you would like my tutorial and you, you can't place an order, I'll have over there on that blog post as well, I'll have a way for you to just purchase the tutorial. Now, enough chit-chatting. We're here to stamp. I'm here to show you some fun, quick and easy projects featuring designer series paper. So let's flip the camera down and get started. Okay, like I said, if you got my paper share, you have a bunch of pieces that are four by six. If you didn't get the paper share, that's okay. This is a great size to cut your paper. A lot of times I'll take those 12 by 12 sheets and I'll just cut them into four by six pieces because then I know they're all ready to use for a card. Um, you know, I'm not always manhandling these big 12 inch pieces. So what we're gonna do today, let's see. Let's go ahead and set this aside. I have a piece of pool party. This is the, I think it's called Bird Ballad Designer Series paper. And we're going to use our card base, which is eight and a half by five and a half to make a card um, with this designer series paper. So we're gonna start out and I'm gonna just score this at, I'm still getting used to the new lines on my new cutter here. This has a fabulous scoring blade because it's, it's not going to tear your paper at all, even if you're scoring thinner cardstock or thinner paper. So I just scored there at four and a quarter. Remember the little ridge, okay, it's popping up on that side. That's what's gonna go to the inside. So we'll go ahead. Um, I also like to use my bone folder, get a nice crisp edge in there. Set that aside. And now we're gonna take this four by six piece and we're gonna put scoring blade down to the bottom and we're gonna use the cutting blade and I'm gonna start out by cutting this down to five and a half. Okay, so this little guy, this will be a scrap that you can use either on this project or another one. We'll probably use it on this one just so we use the whole thing. Then I'm gonna turn it this way and we are going to make a two inch cut. So I have a two inch piece and then we're going to also go and we'll move it over here and we're gonna do two quarter inch pieces. So we'll just move over a quarter and cut that one. So we got little pieces to work with here. We're gonna flip that over actually, and then we'll move over another quarter and we'll cut that one. Still getting used to this cutter. When you go to open the new cutter, you wanna kind of pull at the top here because um, it locks down really nice there. So there we go, two pieces of that. This as well is a piece. So those are two scrap pieces for right now. So let's set this aside. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the layout here, but then I'm going to show you a little trick before I start putting everything. Well, we can go ahead and adhere these down first. Then I got a trick for you. So stay with me. Um, so all I did is I flipped those quarter pieces over. So I'm going to start by putting adhesive on the back of our bigger piece. And I like to go kind of 
like more towards the top, not not right in the center, just a little bit up there. Try to eyeball that to get it as straight as you can. And then take these little strips and we're gonna put just a little bit of adhesive on there. Let's see, come on out, there we go. Don't need much at all. And part of the reason I like this liquid is because it slides. So I can start over here on the left and then I just kind of slide it down so it's nice and tight with that um, first piece. So we'll do the same thing here. Now this bird ballad paper, there's so many fun prints in it. Um, and this idea that I'm giving you will work with all the different prints in this pack of paper or any of your packages of paper. So we're just talking a four by six piece. So there is that. And then for the inside, I have a piece, and we're gonna add something to this, so don't go away yet. I have a piece of Whisper White that is five by three and three quarters, and then a piece of, what do we have here? Petal Pink, because this is the coordinating pink that goes with our card. And I'm gonna actually layer these for the inside of the card. Since I don't have a lot of layers on the outside, we're layering the inside, and, and you'll see lots of samples when I'm done here. But before I do that, I wanna go ahead and I'm taking my two inch punch. This is kind of, you know, that paper saving trick of mine. And we're gonna punch out a two inch circle here. And we'll set that aside and you'll see why in a bit. And this is gonna go here. Now, do not adhere these together yet because we're gonna stamp a verse on here and you never want to stamp your layers together until, or stamp them together, adhere them together until you've done your stamping. Because if I goof, I can flip it over and do it again. But if I glue it down there and I goof, well, now I've ruined both pieces. So I'm gonna just take a scrap here of Whisper White. And for my verses, I grabbed two different stamp sets. This is a double, Good Morning Magnolia, as well as Magnolia Blooms. Now I know a lot of you have these stamp sets. We're not using the flowers in them, but they have fabulous greetings. Thinking of you, hello, thanks, some good inside verses. And then I also over here have a thank you and a happy birthday. So like I said, I have quite a few cards to show you, um, but I used all verses out of these. So for this one, let's just go ahead and why don't we make it a thank you card. So we'll use our black. And I know it feels like I'm probably jumping all around making this card. There's just lots of little parts and pieces and I wanna make sure you get all my little tips as we go. So there's our thanks, and I'm gonna go down one size punch and use a one and three quarters, because that fits in there. That's why I did a two inch one here. If you don't have circle punches, any punches will work, or maybe you have circle dies. That's gonna just layer over. And again, since this card is so super simple and not a lot of layers, we're gonna put dimensionals on the back of our little circles here. So we'll go ahead and peel those off. So we got dimensional papers everywhere. Do you guys have these in your house? I swear they are everywhere in my house. And then we're gonna use them again on this piece. So it just kind of pops it up, adds a little bit to our super simple card um, to really make it look nice. Now, before I stick that down, we have it all ready to go. Let's grab some of the polka dot ribbon. Okay, to tie our bow, we're gonna just wrap this around. Like I said, this just, it ties really easy. Um, so we're gonna go ahead. Someone told me the little trick once that if you do it upside down, that then your the tails of your bow will, will go the way you want them, which is down and it always seems to work. So I've just always kind of been in that habit. So we'll just kind of fluff those up a little bit and then we can take our scissors and we'll trim our little tails. Now I can slide this over just a little bit like so and then we'll stick our thanks right there. There's the front of our card. And then for the inside, I'm going to use um, the what I call the inside words that are also part of that good morning um, magnolia and we'll go ahead and we'll just stamp that like so and now we want to go ahead and just add a little extra piece of our designer series paper down in the bottom let's just grab our cutter and we're gonna go ahead and just cut a half inch piece here so that scoring blade like so, and I should have probably cut that from the beginning. Let's move this. 
and then we can go ahead i could have even trimmed it down to my five inches or sometimes i just leave it long enough and we put this on remember can slide it around get it right where i want it and then you can take your scissors and you can real easy just snip off that extra now this is where i said don't adhere this down until after you've done the stamping to make sure that you have it right we'll put some adhesive on there and we can go ahead and add it on there and then there's that little hole doesn't matter you're not going to see it we're going to hide it and we'll go ahead and stick that on the inside of our card just like so and there you go quick and easy card using letting that designer series paper do the work for you now let me go ahead and grab a couple more to share with you now i wasn't kidding when i said a couple more i have a whole stack here now all of these cards are made using the garden lane designer series paper because the whole idea here was to kind of show you how the the idea the layout for this card will work with any papers so here are two of them made the exact same way that i made our little bird one here this time i used happy birthday which came out of that magnolia magnolia blooms and then the thanks that's from good morning america I keep wanting to say good morning, America. Good morning, Magnolia. And again, on the inside, I've done the same thing. I've added a scrap along with just layers um, here. Since it didn't have birthday words, I need to grab some from another stamp set. But I kind of wanted to stick to just these two stamp sets. But you can see how easy that is. Added a couple of rhinestones, and that's it. Super simple card. Now, like I told you, this is going to be my online class or free tutorial for December. If you place an order between the 1st and the 10th, you have to make sure you use my special host code so that you can get this tutorial for free. That'll be over in the blog post. Remember, just click below, there's the link. But I have five different layouts that are all just featuring designer series paper. So here's one. And these are all using that garden lane paper and those same verses. If you don't have these verses, you can add any verses and they don't even have to be circles. But the whole idea is how to cut your paper to make some cards. And then on the inside, they're all done the same way on the inside with just using scraps of designer series paper as well. So there's that layout. And you can see on some of these, I just turned them. So it could go that way or it could go that way. It's just a matter of where you want to add your words. So there's layout number three. Um, layout four and five, I think, are my favorites. Um, and I, in the tutorial, I'll show you a real easy way to cut your designer series paper to maximize the use of it and get all the different prints. But there is that layout idea. This one, you actually make three cards at one time. So we're super quick and easy. This one, you're gonna make three cards at one time as well. Um, but here also, we're just cutting strips and, and you start with a big piece, you cut it into strips, you mix and match them and add your greetings. So along with that tutorial, I'll have all the cutting instructions for all of these, as well as I'll have a video that'll show you, especially on the ones with all of these strips, I'll show you how to easily just cut the pieces and mix and match them. And again, like I said, it works with any designer series paper. So make sure you go check out all the information. This tutorial will be free with everybody that places an order between the 1st and the 10th with the class code. Um, or if you'd rather purchase the tutorial, I'll have the link over in the blog post for that as well um, to purchase the tutorial. So as always, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm here to help you with all your stamping needs. I'm all about making quick and easy cards. And I hope you guys can see how quick and easy these cards are. But quick and easy doesn't mean boring. So make some fun cards, send them to your family and friends. Everybody loves getting happy mail in their mailbox. So until I share with you again, have a stamp happy day.